you have all the symptoms of the unbalanced hormones, but you're having a hard time finding anyone to work with you or check them, I'm gonna give you seven tips that can help you balance your hormones on your own. The first is you need to move more. You just have to get enough steps and have to make sure you're not sedentary. Being sedentary affects your insulin levels and can affect your estrogen levels. The second is sleep. You gotta try to sleep eight hours. Now I realize some of you cannot actually sleep and your hormones are disrupting your sleep, but if you can, give yourself eight hours of sleep and do what you can to work on getting good quality sleep. The third is eat more veggies, preferably raw. I've been traveling the last couple days and I noticed that eating out, you really can't get that many vegetables. So if you're traveling or if you just are at home, make sure you're getting every day some raw veggies. Cooked are fine too, but raw veggies are really good for your estrogen detox. The fourth is eat more fiber. I know that uh, the Americans don't eat enough fiber and it has to be at least 30 grams a day. Fiber affects the third phase of estrogen detoxification, which is your elimination. So make sure you're getting enough fiber in your foods, either with a fiber supplement, a fiber powder, or in the foods that you eat. The fifth is don't eat constantly. Try to make sure there's at least four hours between your meals that you're eating because it takes your body that long for your glucose to go up and your insulin to go down and make the glucose go back down. So make sure you're giving at least four hours between your main meals. Similarly, make sure you have at least 12 to 14 hours overnight with no food. Part of the problem is we're constantly eating late at night and that does affect your insulin and your circadian rhythm. So 